Hi, today's tutorial will show you how to drop a class using self-registration. First, you will want to go to dsu.edu and click on My DSU. From here, you will want to log in to My DSU portal, and then you will click on the Dakota State icon in the middle of your page. From here, you will then click on Self-Service Registration, and then once here, you will click on Register for Classes. You will click on this even though we are dropping a course. This is how we'll manage our schedule. At this point, you will select the term in which you are wanting to make changes. So today we're selecting fall of 2019. Then you will notice a summary screen and a schedule detail. Below in your summary screen, you will want to click on the drop down arrow next to the course in which you would like to drop. If you are dropping a course, you will always select Drop, and then you must click on Submit. To double check that your drop process, you can look in three places. One, it should say Deleted in the status next to the course that you selected to drop. Two, it should say Save Successful in the top right side of the page. And three, your course should no longer show up in your time chart on the left. There are a few important things to remember. During the first few days of every semester, you can make changes to your schedule. Be aware of the last day to drop and add classes from your schedule. Ask an advisor if you're not sure when that is. A good rule, if you're going to drop a course to add a new course, plan to add the new course before dropping the old one. This helps to make sure that you still have the needed courses and credits in your schedule in case there was some issue with the new course you wanted to add that didn't allow you and then you dropped your old class and you could no longer be in that class, this will help you avoid that situation. Another important thing to remember is take 30, save 30. If you take 30 credits a year, it is projected that you will save about $30,000 by the time that you're done with college. It also helps keep you on track to graduate in four years with the needed 120 total credits. Also, every semester has a last day to withdraw from a course. This means you withdraw from the course with a WD grade. You are still responsible to pay for this course. Each student is only allowed six WD grades on their academic record. So you'll want to be sure to talk this over with your advisor before you decide to drop. Thank you.